Yesterday, I was in vegan city and explored small Spanish colonial towns, seeing the sunset, eating the empanada, and drinking beer. Today, I'll drive up to Pagutput, which my friend recommended me to go to. From vegan, I drove into Ilocos Norte and entered Pagutput. And it took me four hours because I got caught in the rain. But finally, I arrive at the Patapata Viaduct, and my journey starts from here. Alright, so now I arrive at the Patapata Viaduct. But as you can see, it's not good weather. <laughs> it took me four hours to come here from Vegan. It was good weather in Vegan, but here it's not that so good. But the, the kind of structure of this road is like really nice. <laughs> That's something my friend recommended to me to come. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> But the road is really good. I hope the weather is good and sunny. And then also there's some people stopping by and taking a picture time to time. Yeah, it seems like a really famous wide spot. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the next stop, which is I think a beach in Pagutput, I guess. <laughs> but I don't think the weather there is gonna be good. But yeah, I'm gonna go there just to see. So yeah, uh, that's it. So. See you in a second. Leaving the viaduct behind, I drove in the rain to go to the South Beach. Out beach. This is actually really a nice beach, so huge. <laughs> it's not that exactly white, just like we do we have in Cebu, but it's really nice. Kind of look at this side, it's so huge, it's so spacious. Yeah, it's better to come with a friend or family and spend one day here. Yeah, unfortunately, weather is kind of windy, cloudy, but the, I really like this beach. Also, we have a cottage over here that's extra fee, and the entrance fee is 50 peso for the foreigner like me and 20 peso for the locals. I didn't expect that Ilocos had a beach like this. But this one is a really nice beach. I just I came here to just drop by. So I'm gonna go down the window turbine place, the windmill place, whatever you call it. And then we're gonna watch the wind turbine from the hill on my way to go back. So I hopped on my motorcycle and drove to the viewing area and while driving, it became sunny. So now I arrive at the viewing deck to see the wind turbine or windmills. It's so beautiful. The coastline, also the mountain, and also the farmland. It's so beautiful. It's a nice view from here. It's so windy today, which is good for wind turbines to generate electricity. <laughs> it's not good for my driving. But uh, yeah, it's a really nice place. And then uh, I just realized when I check on Google map, actually I can get closer to the wind turbine. So I'm gonna drive down to get closer to the wind turbine. So yeah, see you in a second. So I drove down the hill and then go closer to the beach. So now I came down to the beach to see the wind turbine up close, but it's so big, it's like a so huge and so poor. Actually, it's a really good place to come down here to watch wind turbine up close. Also, the driving along the way is also fun, like a driving while seeing the wind turbine alongside with you. It's like a really fun, it's a good place to kind of explore that rather than just overlooking this wind turbine from the hill. It's better to come down here to watch up close. It's much windier here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go to the rock formation next, which is on the way back. If you want to see it, stay tuned. 
So I jumped on my motorcycle again and headed to the rock formations. I just arrived a couple of flower rock formation, but this I think this place is not all about the rock formation. It's more like a wind turbine. It's like a everywhere. It's like a wind turbine, like a everywhere. <laughs> it's like a really good place to see the wind turbine rather than the beach that I've just gone. Yeah, it's a really good place. So the rock formation is kind of over there. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. But yeah, this place is nice. I'm just uh, on the hill at the back of my entrance. But this place is really nice to see the wind turbine. It's like, a, it's really nice. So I'm just get down and get closer to the rock formation. After getting downstairs, there was a trail to walk while seeing the windmills. It was very easy and then stumbled upon these statues. So I'm on my way to the rock formation, but I just find a very interesting sculpture. I need an explanation. Is this like a sculpture or a myth mythical story or something like that? <laughs> I don't know, but I think I need an explanation. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, the guy is so amazing trying to open up the mouth of four meter long alligator. <laughs> that, that's impressive. Alright, so let's go to the lock formation. Alright, so now I arrive at the lock formation, but you cannot get closer from here. It's just an observation deck. So we can just stay here and just watch it. That's it. <laughs> so nothing special, it's just a big lock. Also, there's another small rock over there, so I'm gonna go there for. So let's go and check it out. All right, so I came to this small rock for this one. You can actually touch. <laughs> you can actually touch. And then, yeah, it's so windy here. I don't know why, but the interesting thing is like a texture of the rocks. Over here is kind of interesting. Also, like if you don't want to walk, you can take a horse to go back to the entrance. I'm not, I don't know how much, but you can take horse. So yeah, yeah, this is the last stop of my Hiroko North Travel. And then, yeah, it's been nice. The weather wasn't good in the first half, but they're getting better in the later half. Yeah, I really like the wind turbine here and also there. Yeah, it's a really good place to explore. So if you like the content like this, please give me a thumbs up and see you in the next adventure. Peace. Woo. All right, I'm gonna go back <laughs> to my hotel in Lao, Lao, Lao Ag City. <laughs>